Yeah, he's an opera singer. This is such a nuisance. Why do people go to all of this to eat? Because <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Where's it from? Save Mart. Oh. Fresh. Yeah. That's cool. It's cheaper than you get in Santa Cruz yeah. and is good. Probably my first child. Yeah. That was a really happy. That's Grace, obviously, yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What's. Is that the happiest you've ever been? Hmm? Is that the happiest you've ever been in that moment? Interesting. What about you, Lauren? I don't know. I think about it. I feel like it's going to happen June 6th. Oh, that's so Then nice. another happy moment was when Dan, the kid's dad, was the first Mexican to be hired by Caltrans in yeah. a good position. Yeah. That's cool. It was so wonderful. He broke the barrier. Yeah. I didn't know that. that but then cool. he had to put up with all the... Yeah, he had to put stuff. up with a lot. Oh. He, he had to put up really. with a lot, although he was, you know, fair-skinned. Yeah. He could pass for Italian before he could pass for Mexican. Yeah. But he had to put up with a lot because his name was Valdez. And we, we went to buy our first home. The neighbors hadn't seen us, and they had a petition up. Because of his name. Oh my gosh. In Valdez. Mar in Marysville? They didn't want any Mexicans in their neighborhood. Was this in Marysville? No, Sacramento. Oh. Interesting. 5840 El Granero Way. Yeah. What year was this? 1953. Wow. Hmm. That's sad. But you moved there anyways, obviously? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Of course, he had a very important job. I mean, you know. And well, that's because of the GI Bill. The and I was... got to go to college. Oh. A lot of, a lot and of I was people, friendly. Guys. Yeah. What's your happiest moment, Terry? My happiest moment? Mm-hmm. Or the um, time you've been the happiest, or, you know. I think... My happiest moment was driving down to Mexico with Michael. Layla's dad? Yeah. Yeah. That, that was the happiest, yeah. Yeah, because you were in love? Or? I was in love, yeah. That's and we, it, was, it was really cool. It was magical. We, were, we had Marshall Tucker, Bob Marley, um, Toots and the Maytals, uh, The Doors, The Rolling Stones. In that on our tape, they mm -hmm. were those big things. Yeah. What were they called? Eight tracks. Pardon? Was it the eight tracks? They were big things you stuck in. Yeah, eight. I guess it was an eight track. I think that's. What and we is. drove a 1955 Flathead Six Studebaker truck down there. I have no idea what that is. It's, Do you know what it's that is? a classic yeah. car. In. And all the Mexicans loved us because we had a. They love old car. People love old cars and. Yeah. And it was, it, yeah, that was, ma that was my magic, my best, happiest time. My I'd hate to go to a crab feed and have to eat in front of people. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun because everybody else is doing it. Yeah, with their bibs. Yeah, yeah, but they probably know more about eating crab than I do. Danny has an art of it. <laughs> You're doing great. There's no right or wrong. When I'd uh, get crab for Duke, I'd have to feed him. Yeah, oh. like a baby. They yeah. were like they were lovers. They were like little. He couldn't young, handle little it. Little teenage lovers. <laughs> so I, you know. What's the most romantic thing Duke has ever done, or you've ever done for Duke? Romantic thing mm -hmm. that I've done for Duke. For Duke? Yeah. Or that he's done for you? Hmm. Mm, just about every little thing he did. No. Nice. I felt good about. Yeah. That's I always nice. felt special. Yeah. Look at how cute Lucky is. 
He's so cute. You're so cute. Oh my god, he's the cutest. Oh, did he write his oh, name on the back? Yeah, of he did. He's cute. He was the oh, he was the cutest personality wise and everything. And the home videos that we had. He's so like, cute. He's adorable. Oh my god. And his little the way he talks. Yeah, he's like, he got like that sister. Was that was that uh, Joaquin? I can't yeah. Find it. Oh. He was a special little guy. He, so he still is. Yeah. Joaquin still is. Joaquin's very, like... very loving. Very. Yeah. <laughs> I think Josue is too. He writes me beautiful letters. Josue's more serious. Love. Yeah. But he doesn't show it. Yeah. I don't know what my word is. I you, hope what? You were around. An extra lot for my parents, probably, because they were oh, yeah. children when they had me. They got along real good when I took you kids away. <laughs> <laughs> the truth, that's the truth. <coughs> All my cousins are really cool. Like, especially your kids, Terry, and Maurice's kids. Who? Yeah, so I, I like all of them. Uh... Like, all of them. Like, Alana is super nice and chill and funny, and Julia's the same. All of them. And Layla's, like, freaking Audrey Hepburn, like, the most, like, the prettiest, most graceful, and also funny. They all. Yeah. They all are. And are. Richie and Mackay. I feel like everyone's funny and relaxed, and that's because I don't eat meat, so it's, like, hard. Um, Saturdays? Sure. So now tell me what they have for dinner. They ha they have a jerk chicken, but instead of chicken, I get a big portobello mushroom, and it's really good. And it has plantains and all like the I think it's Jamaican, right? All like whatever mm. the Jamaican seasonings are, and it's mm. super good. And then I there's a bunch of different salads, and I get different salads. Um, mm. For uh, this might not sound good to you, but for appetizers, he has. Fried macaroni and cheese ball thing. How interesting. And he had, I, what's the sauce? It's some brown. Oh, no, it's not it's brown. Like it's spicy. I don't know, but the sauce yeah, the has sauce is amazing. Yeah, the sauce is good. It's like, really good. Is that pricey? Yeah. Uh, it's about like City Cafe. Yeah. Mm. So, well, he's using good ingredients. Yeah. And the it's menu really changes, good. and yeah. I, I like it. I mean, if it's if he's using it, you have to charge more, or else you won't make a profit. Yeah. And more time preparation time. Yeah. It's not open a box. Yeah. Open a package and. It's good yeah. stuff. Like that's every, what er, everywhere else is. They have brunches and stuff, and that's what they said that like all their stuff is like based on what's in season. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He buys all local produce. Nice. And fruit. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. They wrote a story on him in the local. He had made it big, but he said he's always been small town. Yeah. And this is where he grew up. Yeah. Oh, he did grow up here? Yeah. So. Did he, he leave, though, at some point? He wanted to come home. Oh. Culinary school. Or... Yeah. Well, he went to Yuba College. That's where he started um, the opera. Yeah, at Yuba College. Mm -hmm. I worked on the tomato harvester with that woman that was an opera singer for the San Francisco Opera. Oh, wow. She was so funny. Stephanie, I should look. She was a yeah, lot I'll older see than if me. This tastes like... and she also um, taught transcendental meditation. I've been hearing a lot about that. On that was podcast. a long time ago, so I, I was a sucker, and I think I paid... What was it? Fifty bucks. It was like a lot of money back then. Back in sixty, what was that? Sixty eight, sixty nine, um, and so she goes, okay. And so I, I, I'm, I'm I was like going, okay. This is really interesting, and it was like they give you a word, your own word, mm -hmm. that you meditate to, and I can't even remember the word. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a classic. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, Gracie got picked up at um, Ellis Lake. Because they used to go smoke pot mm -hmm. over where that gazebo is now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, it was her, Linda Smith, Lanny Jones, and Sher was it Sherry? Do you remember when Gracie got picked up for smoking mm -hmm. marijuana? Lanny Jones. Um, Linda. 
one of the judges, one of the Clements. Anyway. One of the judges' kids. That Lanny Jones got off because her dad was a court reporter. Mm, All of them did. All of them did? And when I showed up, Oh, I thought that Terry I, Keeley said, what are you doing here? I tried to shut him up, mm-hmm. and I said, mm-hmm. <laughs> well, no, they were mad at Lanny, because she, she did something wrong. She, like, ratted on him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She ratted him out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they were, I remember they were mad at, mad at her. And then once Gracie drove the, um, she had the, we had an old station wagon, mm-hmm. And you know where the boat ramp is at the far end? There's a boat ramp at the corner where it how, where Hal's Grubs, where the old swimming pool, remember I showed oh, you? Yeah. Right there, there's a boat ramp. Mm-hmm. Well, they were, I don't know what they were doing, but they backed it up and went into the water with the station. <laughs> was it recovered? Yeah. You yeah. know, they got half of it in, so it was all stinky and stuff. That's funny. It was all the... The, the well do kids. It the was stoners. no one from the stoners. <laughs> so what I did with Gracie was when I took her, I made her notice all the ones that were there what do you with mean? the parents. Because they got written up, you know, and they had to appear in court for, uh, because it was very illegal back then, yeah. marijuana. Yeah. 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 It was a lesson for her. I said, well, you know, we walk away. Because mm-hmm. I knew somebody. Uh-huh. And we live in the right part of town, but none of these people will. Mm-hmm. Their kids will probably be detained. Yeah. You will. A little bit. Do you, want, do you need some, uh, an orange? Um, no, as long as we're going to leave here Yeah, go ahead. ahead. Go, go, go. Okay. okay. Come on, Pancho. Okay, sorry. Bye, Pancho. See you later. Come on, Pancho. Don't worry about it. Come on. You know I wouldn't say something if I needed to go. Okay, I don't know. You gotta tell me.